so for you again i am going to create a link so here https so you need to specify everything here amplifyabi.com so this is what the link which we have just validated going to the settings page and here i am going to specify the path exactly so make sure you pro you specify the path exactly so here we don't have details we have profile here so instead of details let us try to specify profile here and slash we are going to specify the id so the id may be like d735 h j whatever the id may be like a, this is a real referral code so now let's try to make use of this particular referral code here and we have done with the coding part we have validated by going to the settings page and we have also created the link that is the third step here and now the fourth step is to open the application and go to that particular screen and the fourth step we need not do anything just tap on this particular link here and here you can see in the app bar you can see we have got like d735hj which is a referral code which we have specified so this is the referral code and by making use of the app link we are now able to receive the referral code as well in this vlog we are going to implement the referral system in your flutter application so in our previous tutorial i have clearly explained you how to create app links in your flutter application and navigate to the exact screen where you want your user to be and in this part of the tutorial we are going to use the same code and also add a referral system for the particular app links so i am getting most of the comments you need a referral system in flutter applications so today i am going to deal with this particular tutorial so try to watch this tutorial till the end and let me know in the comment section below your views on this particular tutorial and anything uh, more requirements you need in this particular tutorial just let me know in the comment section below and i will also provide you the code in the description section below so just concentrate on the tutorial till the end and try to understand how this referral works so let's get started so here this is what the code which we have done in our previous tutorial so i don't think there is anything again to explain you regarding the go router and how we specify these paths over here and if you are having any queries i suggest you to watch this particular tutorial before getting started with the referral system tutorial now so now let's try to fill these gaps over here which we have specified in our previous tutorial and the first thing i am going to make use of is like context over here so i am specifying context and the second one i am going to make use of the state over here so why we are making use of context and state is again context is a basic thing you might already be aware of like why we use context and regarding the state with the help of the state here we are going to fetch the extra information so what is the extra information and how we are going to make use of it this particular extra information which we are going to get from the state is nothing but the referral code so we are going to fetch the referral code here and i am going to show you how we are going to make use of it so in the text here instead of a static text like profile i am going to make use of i am going to make use of state which we have just declared and dot here we do have like path parameters here so path parameters is nothing but the parameters which you are going to specify with the path here so what is our path here like profile is our path to get into this particular route and here forward slash so that is nothing but the index screen or home screen whatever you may call it and here now in the path parameters let us try to observe id so i am going to specify id here and we are going to fetch that particular id and now convert it to string here and now we will be fetching the id now and this is the referral code and once you get the referral code then it's again your plan like how to make use of the referral code you you are having any back end where you can verify whether the referral code is of a user and you can add some points to the user or provide some special services for the user 
because he had referred an another customer or any user for your application so this way we have specified the path parameters here for id and also you can have multiple path parameters here but for now i have just specified only one path parameter and now you need to append the same in the path as well so here i am going to add a forward slash semicolon and i am going to specify id here and now how we will call this particular referral url now so that is again a big complication so let's try to observe like how we are going to make this implementation so i've just run i'm just trying to run the code and here you can see our application is now getting installed on our device and here we have got an error like not a constant expression so yes this is not a constant expression so you can just remove the constant over here and now let's try to run the code again and try to see the output once so our application is now installed successfully and we have gone to our home page that is our dashboard screen here and now let's try to go to the settings here again in the settings let's try to open our application app links and open by default here we are trying to manually select the amplifyab.com as our supported link so just let me know in the comment section below in previous tutorial also i have said this but no one has specified in the comment section below if you want to make this auto verified like a real time application there is some there are some more steps to be implemented in the play store level so just let me know in the comment section below if you are really looking forward for it i will be doing a tutorial on it as well so now let's try to add this supported link and here you can see amplifyabi.com is now recognized and will be diverted to our application app links here and the next thing i think you remember so let's go to messaging here so why i am selecting a messaging application because generally whenever you are trying to refer your friend you will be sending the message through a um, social networking platforms like whatsapp facebook or you can send a direct message as well so to make it more relevant for you to understand i am making use of a messaging application here and here you can see i have created a link so for you again i am going to create a link so here https so you need to specify everything here amplifyabi.com so this is what the link which we have just validated going to the settings page and here i am going to specify the path exactly so make sure you pro you specify the path exactly so here we don't have details we have profile here so instead of details let us try to specify profile here and slash we are going to specify the id so the id may be like d735 h j whatever the id may be like a, this is a real referral code so now let's try to make use of this particular referral code here and we have done with the coding part we have validated by going to the settings page and we have also created the link that is the third step here and now the fourth step is to open the application and go to that particular screen and the fourth step we need not do anything just tap on this particular link here and here you can see in the app bar you can see we have got like d735hj which is a referral code which we have specified so this is the referral code and by making use of the app link we are now able to receive the referral code as well hope you like this particular tutorial and i have your doubts regarding the referral code system and of course most of the users are asking me to make this particular referral code with the help of firebase dynamic links so i have already said in previous tutorial as well firebase dynamic links are are going to be deprecated by 2025 august and yeah it's like a two years of time period still available for us but if you are still looking forward to implement referral system using firebase dynamic links well, no problem i am going to create a tutorial on it as well in our coming tutorials so stay tuned to our channel and subscribe to our channel and share this particular tutorial with your friends who are looking for the referral code system and the code for this particular tutorial i will be providing in the description section below and 
if you are having any queries just let me know in the comment section below because with your comments i can know like what are the new things you require to be implemented in the flutter application so this is it for this particular tutorial i hope you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter